Hi everyone, it's Dr. Danielle Moore Collins. Don't even laugh because I got back from our lab in Orange County and I just got home to my place and then I got a phone call or sorry, a text message to say that a pallet had been dropped off at the offices in LA and I was like, that's not where we fulfilled from. Everything is, fulfillment is done from Orange County. So then I had to get one of the guys to forklift to a pallet. It's just one pallet, it's just randomly that it's, it went there. It's just weird. And then there was the samples though, which was really exciting. So obviously I have Dermaface MD. Dermaface MD comes from 2009. I set up Dermaface Botox clinics and obviously did Botox Dublin, London, Monaco, blah, blah. So then obviously we have Dermaface MD skincare. And then I'm now playing around with the idea. I'm quite tempted to do, see if we can do a skincare in like a month to do a challenge. Cause look, I, I have all the contacts, I have all the labs, I know how to make it. I you know how to formulate hyaluronic. I'm, I always mix like a medium weight with a heavy weight hyaluronic. And I'm kind of like, I, I kind of am tempted to do a whole kind of, sorry, I look ridiculous with the mask on, but anyway, um, this is a vegan wheat placental mask. Don't even ask. Um, I just, everything's vegan. So anyway, I'm tempted to see, can I put together a skincare range? I know the colors. I want them to be inspired by the sunsets in LA every day that we see here. And again, look, I have napkins from the kitchen. Like this is so ridiculous. Or the break room as they call it here. Um, because I don't want the hoodie that I stole, my nurse's hoodie that I stole <laughs> to get covered in this mask. Um, also, I don't know if you can see, I've been talking about it for a while, but I had most surgery up here. You can see I have a scar. I've been doing loads of silicone on it and I probably will do some needling or something, but again, single use. So like I said, I'm playing, you probably can't see how pink this is, but it's really, really, really pink and it's really, it's pretty gorgeous. So I'm kind of excited that I ended up getting dragged back into the office tonight because it's not the worst thing. You know, when you're waiting on products that you've, you've been playing around with and formulating and then they actually come. And so, like I said, I waited late in Orange County to think they would come to the lab and the fulfillment center there. And then I was like, oh, you know what? At six o'clock I gave up and I just drove home and then that they were there. So I'm playing around with them now. But again, this is the pink one. Oh, it's so nice. It's just really, and it's, it's mint. The smell is mint, but it's baby pink. So it's inspired by the colors of the sunsets in Los Angeles. By the way, is anyone else still annoyed about that whole interviewer in England? I know there's lots of things wrong with what he said, but I also, I watched it again and his, his accent, his voice, he sounds like a constipated David Beckham, to be quite honest with you. So I don't know what, what all that is about. I don't know how everyone's feeling about it. If it's all calmed down in Ireland, it's probably 4am in Ireland and everyone's probably just coming in from the pub. It's 8 p.m. here.